We're going to break down how to film a punch into five steps so that you can see the process that I would go through when working on camera. First one is looking at the surroundings and the environment that you're working in. You need to make sure you have enough room to execute the move and you're not going to bump into any walls, bump into any lights, bump into any cameras. Just to make sure we've got a light stand on this side, that's going to be our camera position. It's stationary for this run so you don't have to worry about moving it. Walking through the space, we'll clear these mats out of the way. Second area to focus on are the actors. We want to make sure that number one, they're warmed up and ready to do the moves. Number two, that they've rehearsed thoroughly the sequence. Um, and as a sideline from that, that they're not going to improv around the sequence of attacks. The final element of safety that you want to look at is the distance between the two performers. You do not have to be too close to each other. What feels correct and what will work on screen are two absolutely different things. The mistake that most actors begin to do is they want to work about this close. Never. There is no need to be that close. If you separate the actors more, extend your fist again for me, Dean. Great, and now we have at least a foot between what is gonna to pretend to strike the face and the face that is being struck. From this angle, we can see the distance of safety that needs to be maintained, but we can simulate the illusion of contact. If I just step back so I'm out of the way, throw the punch from here, Dean. Go. Great, never gonna buy it, never gonna believe it. So what we need to do is make sure we hide that safety gap from the camera. I'm gonna do it by spinning this fight around, we can hide it this way, where they're directly upstage and downstage. Yeah. So that will sell to the camera, but we're losing part of the story that's really crucial. So all we need is a slight little shift. Dave, step to your right, Dean to your left, ever so slightly. Now in the setup for this punch, we're able to see Dean's face, the reason he wants to throw this punch, and the action throughout the punch. This is a storytelling technique and we need to make a decision of whether the punch is going to be a large punch or a small punch. There's a lot in between, but for sake of time, those are the two we're going to be looking at. Uh, a large punch will look something more like this. Good, nice, excellent. So that's the story if we're looking at this big punch. It's all in that preparation of, of rage, of telling that story, this punch is going to happen. You have alternate versions you could use. There's a punch that's surprise. Someone says something that, that catches you off guard and it's just a gut reaction for a punch. So before we, something along that line. The thread I'm talking about is this imaginary thread. It's a line that comes out from the center of the camera, will go through the point of impact and extend past. We need to make sure that the fist is gonna pass through or to snap this thread in order to sell the illusion of contact. Dave? Excellent, good work. The second half of step four is ensuring that the direction of the reaction is in relation to the direction of the punch. So that if the punch travels on a horizontal plane, boom, the head is gonna move horizontally. If it's moving on a diagonal plane, boom, the face is gonna move on that diagonal. Otherwise, you're not gonna believe that the punch has actually made contact. Dave, could you demonstrate those for us? Thanks. What happens after the contact is made? We can decide to stick on the attacker and tell his story. We can decide to focus in on the victim and tell that story. So those are the five steps I think about when filming a punch. Step one is safety. Step two is about the camera angles. Step three is about preparation of the move. Step four is about breaking the thread and making sure we have the correct reaction. And step five is what happens after the punch. Even though safety sounds like it was restricted to step one, it is the overriding and main concern that guides me and my actors through the entire process.